get successful, what's going to happen to you? Oh, you might be rich for a minute, but look at Lauren Hill. They locked Lauren Hill up for tax evasion. Locked up Wesley Snipes. You see what happened to Bill Cosby, right? That, uh, my, uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, we get Michael Jackson. They got his ass too. They killed Michael Jackson. They killed Michael Jackson. They killed Tupac. I mean, they, all these motherfuckers, bro. What? Oh, go, go ahead. Go ahead. I got this. But this is bad, man. When you start reading this protocol by design. It goes exactly with what we're going into, especially with what you just said, man. That Willie Lynch letter shit. Yeah. It was, it's been their plan for the fucking longest, man. You can hold that, because that's really still going. Did you have to say something? Yes, it does. And these if people can't really see it. it and these people just think they be a modern and, oh, we accepting the women. and Like, I was watching ESPN this morning, bro. Like, going back to the women's show, I was watching ESPN. And did you hear the excuse of why the NCAA said they can't pay the male athletes? What? They, they gave you. An, they gave an official excuse of why they cannot pay male athletes. They said because we would also have to. It would be unfair to the females. And he said we would have to go to the government and explain to the government why we wouldn't be able to afford to pay the females and the males. I mean, that's obvious why they ain't gonna pay the females. Ain't nobody watching that shit. Ain't, don't nobody watch no female college basketball, bro. This is trash. You ever watch the WNBA? This is trash. It's fucking trash. All right, check this out. It says, it says, moreover, the art of directing masses and individuals by means of cleverly manipulating theory and verbiage by regulation of life and the common of all sorts of other quirks, in all which the Goyim understand nothing. Yeah, the Goyim. Yeah. <laughs> they saying he's pretty much saying the Goyim understand nothing. They're stupid anyway. They are still look at them. They bro. are, right? Look at these <laughs> motherfuckers, bro. They ain't got a, the average person ain't got a clue. <laughs> They got no clue. They just totally asleep, bro. They got no idea about what's going on in the realm of reality, bro. Snoring. Yeah, snoring. The, the slumbering. The snoring is actually them talking, whatever the fuck they're talking about. One day we're going to wake them up. We're just going to beat the shit out of them. Wake up just that to wake your ass up, man. Wake up just to put them down. With a metal pipe to your face. You just think if we, just think if we, well, how we, how do you think the most high feels? Imagine hearing these motherfuckers thoughts. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, yeah, the most high can hear their thoughts. Oh, shit. Oh, crazy. I didn't even think about crazy, that man. one. God damn. You go crazy, man. He literally sees the air and says, what's going on in the dark? Oh, my boy. He's just looking like that. Yeah. Sorry. And so he's looking at the dark side of He's gonna burn the fuck up. That's why he's gonna burn billions of people up here. <laughs> burn them up, goddamn man! Fire is the hell of a way to die, man. I don't think there's no other worse way than fire. Man. Getting crisp, crispy, <laughs> turn into a crispy crisp. <laughs> yeah, that's a slow. Well, I know that you get burned at the stake, boy. Ooh. That's a little slower than the decapitation. Start pissing the shit, hoping to piss a little. <laughs> Dang, just think your dick burning, your eyes burning, <laughs> burning <laughs> melting. Hang, hang. I got a preset. This is uh, this Jeremiah 8, and um, I'm going to start at 4 or down. It says, Moreover, thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, but shall thou shine, shall they fall and not arise, and he shall turn away and not return. Why then is this people of Jerusalem split back by perpetual backsliding and hold fast to see and refuse to return? I got it right here. I hearkened and heard, but they stack not right. The Lord, like I said, the Lord can hear your thoughts. The Lord just listening like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But think about how he feels when he hears all conversations. How he hears our thoughts. Like, oh, I'm kind of comfortable with this. But then we say, well, we, uh, we think. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's all like the Lord said. And also, he says, the Lord have not left the remnant, we would have been at some of the morning. So, the elect got to the bottom. The, the children of Israel, but he carried all the uh, children of Israel on the back of him. It wasn't for the elect, Eric, all of us. No. It says, uh, I have hearkened and heard, but they spat not aright. No man repented him of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Every one of them was turned to his course as the horse rushing into the battle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but uh, I was about to say something about the elect. But that's why. Matthew the 12th chapter says uh, that the elect, they're going to be the ones that's going to be ruling over the 12 tribes of Israel. You know what I'm saying? So in the kingdom of heaven, ain't everybody going to be, I mean, 
first shall be last and the last shall be first and all that. But at the same time, still, the Lord going to choose his elect to rule over everybody. So, you know. That's actually going to be a reality. Yeah. They don't want <laughs> They don't want that crown, you know. It's crazy. I want the crown. I want them Jews. I'm speaking metaphorically, though. I mean, I want the real shit, too, but, you know. You want it literally and spiritually. Back yeah, because that's really the real not I mean actually real riches is knowledge though. I mean obviously the real riches is the truth. You know you an Israelite, you know the name of the Lord. But even I mean every time I learned something new I felt like I just my bank account got bigger, you know? Yeah, yeah, cha -ching. Like damn right. I mean cause knowledge is amazing to me. When you learn a new skill, you learn how to fix something, you learn how to make something, you learn how to create something. Temporary feel you, yeah, it feels good. You feel like you accomplished something. <laughs> but thou art rich. Right, like we study in the Hebrew language or something, I might learn a new secret. Or learn a new word or something. Right, right. My, your mind get blown. Yeah, shit, I'd rather have that than money. <laughs> it's uh, Sirach 21 and 23. It says, it's like a, it says 21 and 21. It says, Learning is unto a wise man as an ornament of gold and like a bracelet upon his right arm. Yeah, that's what we all about learning. You know, the average person in the world, you, learning is like AIDS to them. You know what I mean? they scared of it. It's not he good. Jake like the shine, Jake the belt, Jake like to look good. Yeah, you start with that. You know, like a bracelet, Jake good. Shit, I love this. But you gotta think, even if, it, even if you're an endurer, it's like anything requires knowledge to be successful at it. Like anybody who's really in the Jews is gonna study the Jews and know the difference between the Jews, you know, know what an emerald is and a sapphire is and what a ruby is. That's knowledge. That take that right there takes years to study the Jews and the ruby. And the stones and shit, you know what I mean? I bet you the average person out here can't even tell the difference between a real diamond and a fake diamond. The average person can't tell the difference between the real gold and fake gold. They got no knowledge at all. Maybe the person who's trying to rock that shit though. Some fool's gold. Yeah, costume jewelry. Check like the little dude. I mean, what's the name? Truth, man. We love learning this truth, man, so we want to get it to the point, man. That's the same thing as showing the truth, man. It's beautiful. The truth is beautiful. Teaching the truth is beautiful. It really is. Shining like a diamond. It's uh, Psalms 119. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm That one on the left might have been a dude. It's like that. <laughs> Esau? Uh, What's up, man? Esau! Go home and get the children, ain't you? Got the children in the closet. Just yeah, under the basement floorboards. He go home, he gonna unscrew that floorboard. I get out of here, you bastards. Time to get raped. <laughs> He look like a fucking cow. just smiling, happy as a motherfucker, man. Right. So, where we at, man? Where we at? You said, uh, Psalms 119 and, uh, 162. Speak up, speak up. Can't hear you. Psalms 119 and uh, 162. I rejoice at that word as one that finds a great spoil. The 
you know, back in the day, if you had small, you go to the army, you kill the army, you take all the shit, you take the gold, you take the women, Ooh, yeah, you take all that shit. Yeah. So, so Pete David, yeah. I don't think Pete David, but he said, uh, find your word like better than that. You know what I'm saying? That's like free money right there. But, but, but imagine when we get to the kingdom, we're going we to know pretty much everything. I don't know if we're going to understand the whole side. But we're going to know everything about the earth. We're going to be able to grow trees off of, you know, just off our hands. Right? Like, they don't give us power. You don't know what kind of sciences and stuff we're going to learn and stuff. Yeah, right, exactly. Man, we're going to be, <laughs> we're shit brothers are already scientists, bro. Some brothers, some stuff, some brothers know. Oh, my goodness. It's very hard to concentrate out here. Concentrate. That's Satan. I rebuke you, Satan. Because Satan does come in the form of a fat ass. And that is very true. See, in the kingdom, you'll be able to control the spirits. Six, seven, uh, Esau and shit. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to control the minds. You know what I'm saying? Uh, control beasts, animals, talk to them, fly, go to different colors. So you see, like, right now, because you know what happens, though, is when you learn this truth, though, you get, you, uh, you become diligent. Like, the way you approach things. The, you know what I mean? Like, like let's say like the musical instruments or whatever, the way we approach that. We appro I approach music the same way I approach the truth. I like when when I get a scripture, I get to a word, I look up the word. I do the same thing with music. I'm looking up notes, I'm looking up scales, chord progression. You know what I mean? Music theory and shit. Anything, you you name anything, bro, we sitting there studying it, analyzing it. That's how you're supposed to be with everything. That's called being walking circumspect. What's that scripture says? As wrong. Actually, I got a better one than that. I'm gonna keep using this crap. I might as well just get that one scripture. I got one for you, real quick. For, uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Man, how y'all doing? Let's do Damn, we. Oh my goodness. It is very hard to read scriptures today. It is all kind of distractions. Like, they really he got all that good. He better go catch or something. You get, well, where are you fishing the site? Uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study. Uh oh, I know that's a bad word. I'm using cuss words. Study. To show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. But office. But shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodliness. Rightly dividing the word of truth. You got rightly divided. Precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little. <laughs> yep. Being diligent with it, man. Sitting there studying, we gotta put in the hour. So a lot of people don't want to put in the work. They don't want to put in the time. Just like at anything, you know, we go back to the music analogy. Like a lot of people want to play the guitar, or the piano. But they don't put no time into it, so they suck. So they have no skills. They're trash. The scripture says, uh, the much the much you put into it, the much you gonna get out of it. Right. Put in a little, you'll get back to it. Learning a uh, skill. You want to learn but just a little bit. You want to get a little bit. You're out here prophesying. You know what a prophecy is? You don't know what a prophecy is? A prophecy is something that you're speaking about that's going to happen in the future, in the very near future. So we're speaking of things before it happens. Prophets, we're prophets of the Lord. The main prophecy is America's going to be destroyed. It's already being destroyed. Yeah, it's, right about that's that. because of this word. That's because of this word. We can't wait till this place is destroyed. We hate this place. We don't like. We don't like it. America is the kingdom of Satan. It's the land where all manner of wickedness is allowed to flourish. This is Rebel, This is Job seven and. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him anymore. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. Yeah. Oh, Satan has him. No, man. Beat Satan's ass. Right. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain.
in the bitterness of my soul. Yeah, so we complaining it. Well, we're bitter. Yeah, but we're bitter yeah. old men. Yeah, like, and we're complaining. You better put matching socks next week. Next time I'm gonna whoop your little ass. Hey, you better watch over my baby mama, cuz. I don't give a fuck who it is. Flat out. Anyway, uh, I am, am, am I a sea or a well? So I got your bag as call. I'm gonna bring my diggers out there. When I say, my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaint, then thou scares me with dreams and terrified me with visions. Terrified when, I was just talking about it when he starts, when he first came out, he talking about people get terrified with visions. They ain't gonna have to fight, I'm gonna do all the fight. Remember when I said to him, I'm worried. That's because he's worried being destroyed. That's what I'm saying. Fuck the mud. I don't give a fuck who it is. It affects these people, man, when they hear this word. It affects their yeah. mind. Whether they go home, they thinking they get in the way, you know? But somehow them spirits, man, just follow me. Got you, buddy. Yeah. Once you hear the word, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Whether they like it or not. Yeah, that's true, though. Hey, that's that uh, Ezekiel Knight. Uh, oh, that's the spirit. I was just going oh, yeah. to get that. Yeah, that's like you said, where they get marked. Oh, some people get marked for death. <laughs> Isn't that a movie, marked for death? Some people are like literally get marked for death. Ezekiel 94, and the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city. Go. I'm sorry, bro, I got distracted again. Your boy has, he had a dope ass pair of boots. I to talk to him too. He has some, I think those are Danners. This is like a $200 pair of boots. I was looking to try and get me some of that shit. So much yeah, it's it's Israel, man. Israel is very interesting. He got stories to tell you. You know he ain't playing with. You know he's real about his shit. But what the Lord say? Put that shit down. Teach y'all to be efficient. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, perfect. Right, that's a perfect analogy. We fishing and he fishing. Uh, yeah, that's what he told uh, Peter and his brother when they was out there fishing. And he said, uh, yeah, put your nets down. I'll make you fish with your And the Lord said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sign and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst there. I love that word about the <laughs> Right, it's really like, just for the camera, like, Jerusalem is a... We always say that Jerusalem's a people before a place. The people are like, oh, we're not in Jerusalem, this is Columbus. Like, man, Jerusalem is a people. Jerusalem represents Israel. You weren't born in Jerusalem. Yeah, you weren't born in Jerusalem. What's up, bro? Boy rolling in a Monte Carlo. It's an old school joint. Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking at like, yesterday. That old ass car. That old ass ship. That motherfucker was a big shit. But that engine, man, is like that big boy shit. It's easy to fix. It big boy. This car told me it do for 500. Transfer the uh, engine. Motor? To it. Yeah. All you need is a fucking. Exactly. A lift. Yeah. It's really simple. It's really not that hard. And to the others, he said, in my hearing, go ye after him to the city. And smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have pity. Slay utterly, slay utterly, slay utterly. Slay utterly. Old and young, both maids and little children, and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they beget at the ancient men which were before the house. So I said, yeah, so. It says, so set a mark upon the foreheads of the men to sign Christ. Essentially, that's all we're doing every time we come out here. we just looking for people like us, bitter old men. It's like uh, bitter, old bitter, old bitter old young men, too. You know, people who hate the majority of Yeah, most people coming in as really young men. Because you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's hard to do. That's rare. Man. Yeah. I came in with a four. That's rare. Yeah, I was 30. That was, yeah, that was rare for me, too, I guess, the 30. I remember the whole time too when I first learned the truth. I was mad as hell. I mean, you know, 
Man, you could, I was mad as hell I didn't learn it when I was 18 and so. You know? I was like, damn, I'm 30, bro. I just... Well, the thing is, I remember seeing the Israelites out in the, I'm not sure, the late 80s or the early 90s. Yeah. I think it was the late, late 80s, bro. And obviously, they must, they must not have been the real prophets. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I kept it going. I kept it going. And that's the spirit, too, because, like, the right. spirit didn't lead me to nobody except for uh, GMS. Right. Before I was watching GMS, I was watching uh, fucking Jordan Maxwell and David Icke and fucking... Oh, this the Prophet Yahweh. Pro oh, yeah, Prophet Yahweh. That's why he called out the UFOs. Yeah, yeah. I was watching Prophet... Actually, that's the first time I heard anybody say the angels were black. Right. Was Prophet Yahweh. I give him credit on that one. I'll give him credit. He said that he said God was a black man, the angels are black. And he was calling... It. I don't know what he was doing, but he was calling chariots out. Yeah, they had to be balloons. Or something. I don't know what it... <laughs> Hey, that was some special effects and they edited the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he was doing. Yeah. Unless the angels was fucking with him, I don't know. I don't know, man. But until I know Prophet Yahweh ain't no prophet because he had a video where he stuck tubes in his ass. And he was showing you how to clean out your fucking asshole with tubes and shoot water up in your asshole. He's like, you just sit, just relax in the water. Yep. Just stick the tube up your ass and just yep. relax. Just like Yohanna, Yohanna said, I know I'm offending a lot of people, and I know I'm going to make a lot of people mad. But yes, you can have sex with your wife in the butt. Yeah, he's like, do it in the butt. Yep. And he started singing that song. People, there's a whole video on there now. There's a whole video on there now. Listen to that clown. Well, that's yeah. awful to say something yeah. like that. Yes. In the butt, man. I mean, I mean, they say we talk nasty. We don't sit. They get mad over us, over like the, the rape thing. That's like the thing. But these motherfuckers actually made a class teaching you that it's okay to have sex in someone's butthole. Going up in the doo doo hole, you know what I mean? Check this out. Check this out. Check this This is Leviticus 26 and 14. But if ye will not hearken unto me, and will not do all of these commandments, and if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgments, so that ye will not do all my commandments, but ye that ye break my covenant, doing it in the bud. That's a, yeah, that sounds like the whole fucking country in America. But yeah, doing it in the bud, that ain't. Oh, Johanna, though, he tried to say, well, there's no script. He said, technically, ain't no script. He says, you can't do it. Hey, there's no scriptures that says you can't eat shit. Sometimes you gotta have a fucking spiritual eye. And that don't even take a spiritual eye. That's got, sometimes you gotta have an eye with common fucking sense. Shit. <laughs> Doctor, my brother, uploaded it. Says that you can't do it. Doing the ass is like uh, your shit. Your tissues are like thinner and shit. So I'm like, your your anal tissue is ripped. Yeah, so and that's why uh, homosexuals yeah. catch AIDS quicker. Because the membrane is thin. Yeah, it's thin. it tears easy. Yeah. Then the blood yeah. exchanges. Oh, yeah. this fat guy yeah. ruined all the Christian days. Old time, this little fat guy. Why the boy? Why the man got a G spot in the ass? What? What? Yeah, that's somebody said that to us when we was out here. Too. He's like, well, if God hates fags, then how come we gave a man a G-spot in the asshole? Like, maybe you got a G-spot in your asshole. <laughs> that's how I know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. boy, yeah, what the fuck, bro? Who said shit like that? Jesus. Really, you deserve to get your ass beat if you say some shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, you deserve death, bro, for real. Death. Yeah. I mean, we just... Somebody coming up like, we should clothesline them. You know what I mean? Yeah, uppercut him. Like, finish him! That's <laughs> crazy. the type of shit we hear, dude. That's crazy. That's why it's a big great thing. So the United States can get the hepatitis, man. Oh, the hepatitis ain't no joke. This ain't playing, man. These parts of the country get terrorized right now. Why is everybody, man, everybody got tattoos? Where did they get them from? Yeah. The needles are expensive. They reuse the hell out of needles. Heard the tattoos. Check out the needles. That's expensive. Yeah, they can't afford it. They'll go out of business. And the government makes it so hard for a fucking business to stay fucking operational with all these goddamn taxes and regulations. 
I'd rather keep the camera on them for our own safety. They like taking pictures of men. Yeah, they like. Why they you guys keep taking pictures of us? Well, this lens cost 1600 bucks. Last photo of you guys is body, so I need some more shots. I thought you said you was going to delete it, man. Damn. Yeah, you said you was going to delete it. So you're now you're a liar. You're a murderer and a liar. He admitted to killing people. He said he, said he had fun killing people. Can you hold that sign up a little bit? Nah, I can't help you, bro. I don't like you. I don't. I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't know you, but you're off to a bad start. Go ahead. Just take a photo, man. You guys look interesting. I also will do this unto you. I will even appoint over you terror, consumption, and the burning egg that shall consume the eyes and cause sorrow of heart, and ye shall sow your seed in vain. Well, your enemy shall eat it. So y'all just gonna sow your seed in vain. The enemy going to fuck these dudes are fucking you might. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye would not yet for all this hearken unto me, listen, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins and I will break the pride of your power and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass and your strength shall be spent in vain for your land shall not yield her increase neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruit and that's happening right now in America man with droughts and you know the food ain't really I mean you go buy a banana or orange or something man and, it's not even right they got watermelons with no seeds no, they got, they got all kind of fruits with no seeds yeah. Yep. That's not natural. You're taking the seed. The seed is the, the source of the life. And they're taking the seeds out of the food. They got grapples. They genetically modifying foods. They say uh, over 80% of all the corn is genetically modified. That's crazy. And the corn has uh, pesticides engineered into the DNA of the corn. So bugs eat the corn, the bugs die. But they say it's okay for you to eat it. Now, almost all the food you eat at the store comes from genetically modified corn. Bag of Fritos comes from corn. Doritos comes from genetically modified corn. We go all day about all the food that has GMO corn in it that causes cancer. Uh, fucking, uh, I, I was talking about last, uh, last yesterday or whatever. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta look on the internet. You gotta do the test on how you see if your honey is real. They be selling fake ass honey. You know yeah, what I'm it's, saying? It's, it's, it's um, syrup. Yeah. yeah. It's that cheap sap that come out of the trees. I think it was the. Different uh, kind of honey. They're different kind of um, syrups, you know what I mean? But they, they choose a cheap, the cheapest kind. There's a big time company that got caught selling high fructose corn syrup as uh, honey. Oh, they, they just, uh, the news people of some different state, whatever, went to like different places of, uh, of food, restaurants and shit selling fish. Oh. And they, uh, <laughs> fuck. Anyways, uh, she, uh, the fish that they were selling them, they said they, they was going to get this type of fish, but it was some uh, different type of fish. You know what I'm saying? It was some cheaper fish. So now if you, you go to the store and get some, you think you probably get some uh, salmon, they probably sell you some other shit. They probably sell you uh, whatever the fuck. Some unlawful shit. Salmon mixed with eel? Yeah. That's crazy. Genetically modified food. They do that. They engineer that so you can catch cancer. Different forms of cancer. Make the people rich. Make the doctors rich. Makes Esau rich. That's good. Most of these people need to catch cancer and drop dead. Um, and if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. We go to that number seven again. It's going to be a perfect type of destruction of the Lord. It's going to be a beautiful destruction that he's going to bring. You know? What a bad act. The wrath of the Lord, the anger of your house, and y'all shall. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, man. Verse 22, I will also send wild beasts among you, which shall rob you of your children, and destroy your cattle, and make you few in number, and your highways shall be desolate. And if you will not do, and if you not, if, and if you will not be 
before me by, me by these things, but will walk contrary unto me. Then will I also walk contrary unto you, and will punish you yet seven times. And that's why everybody always saying, oh, the Lord don't answer my prayers. He don't hear me. God ain't real. Well, that's good. That's why he didn't answer you. That's right. That's right.